hello everybody this is not a crypto expert chiming in with another video and in today's video i wanted to go over an article regarding the venezuelan cryptocurrency petro being called a scam by merchants but before i get into the topic of discussion for today i would like to ask that you please consider giving me a like giving me a heart giving me a thumbs up giving me a follow a subscribe hit that bell notification on my channel i talk about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology i try to keep it entertaining with a beat in the background so on to the topic of discussion for today which is from bitcoinist.com and it is venezuelan petro cryptocurrency is a scam says local merchants now i've done a few articles on the uh, venezuelan petro which is a cryptocurrency um, some of the things that maduro was doing to try to make the cryptocurrency gain traction with the uh, people in the country as well as on a global scale well this article is what some of the merchants in venezuela are saying Retail merchants in Venezuela are refusing to accept petro payments as hyperinflation is causing massive devaluation upon liquidation of the crypto with the banks. Meanwhile, the country's government has reintroduced price control inspectors as part of its efforts to pressure stores into accepting the country's state-issued digital currency. According to Venezuelan media platform Tao Qual, merchants in the country have abandoned petro as a payment method. Reports say merchants who tried to liquidate their petrol holdings at the Bank of Venezuela received devalued Bolivar amounts. The reason for this devaluation is because the central banks used the petrol rate at the time of purchase. However, when the Bolivar losing close to 90, 99% of its value in 2019 alone, merchants are seeing their petrol stash liquidated for the equivalent of pennies on the dollar. Commenting on the situation, Josefina Salvia Terra, Executive Director of Comencio, Venezuela's National Council of Commerce and Services, remarked, The few who are liquidating are doing so to the indicator of the moment in which the sale was made, which obviously aggravates the situation even more because in hyperinflationary process, it is very difficult to sell on credit without practically indexing the debt. According to Salvateria, merchants that accept Petro payment risk being unable to restock their inventories given the massive hyperinflation in the country. Former President Comercio Maria Carolina Uzagate, and, and I apologize if, I, if I'm butchering these uh, Spanish names, went as far as to call the cryptocurrency a scam, according to the local report. The Petro is a scam for the merchant because undoubtedly what he could do at the beginning of the year with that money is not the same he can do with it at this time. Venezuelan retailers and the government may soon clash over accepting petrol with the Maduro administration reintroducing the price police. According to the Wall Street Journal, the government is tasking a team of inspectors with the job of enforcing price controls across the country. And let me open this up so that way you can see the, uh, the URL for this report. There it is for you if you want to check that out. And uh, here's the uh, the title. And let me see if I can find the date on here. February the 2nd, if you want to read this article. For the government, the move is part of its efforts to curb hyperinflation. However, critics point to the policy of enforcing petro acceptance as further proof of Maduro's attempts to tighten its control of the country's economy. Retailers successfully ditching Petro will strike a blow to the government's aim of ensuring broad-based utilization of the state-issued crypto in the country. Since its introduction, the Maduro administration has tried to push its Petro agenda with limited success. As previously reported by Bitcoinists, President Maduro ordered airlines operating in Caracas, the nation's capital, to buy aviation fuel using Petro. The country has also tried to incorporate Petro into its foreign trade deals with the likes of Russia and India. Um, man, that's not good. Uh, you know, when I, I did the uh, the article regarding the fuel being purchased and using the uh, the country's cryptocurrency, I you know I was kind of 
I kind of left it up to, you know, just saying, hey, this is what they're going to do. If this is what the people are cool with and so be it. Who am I to judge from the outside looking in? Um, but if merchants have been accepting this form of payment and when they go to cash it in or liquidate, it's not worth anything or it's, it's worth significantly less than what it was that they what it was worth when they um, sold their their good or their service, then I mean, that defeats the purpose of them them using the currency i mean hyperinflation is it's a real thing and how can you continue to operate your business especially if the currency that's supposed to be fixing this is doing the exact same thing as the other uh, currency that is supposed to be replacing so um you know I, I, this sucks I, I certainly hate that for the other uh, venezuelan people because it's the people who are the victims here government officials i'm pretty sure will be their lives will continue to operate as normally but it's the the people and the merchants you know the the common man or woman who will will suffer because of this not working the way that it's supposed to be so i hope that the uh government gets this figured out i hope that the people of venezuela don't have to suffer too much longer uh with this because it seems like it would be a a great status symbol if there was a country especially a, a country that has as much oil as venezuela actually has a digital cryptocurrency but so far it does not sound as though they are off to a great start especially with uh government officials saying calling it uh, a scam so like i said you know just um i would say keep your head up but that doesn't really pay the bills it doesn't feed your children and with that being said folks don't forget to hit that like button that heart button that thumbs up button that post notification i'm not going to ask you to share because it seems invasive and i hope that you're having a great morning a great afternoon and an even better evening